It is a picture perfect day here in Hoover the first of two and we are underway. Well they're still underdogs double digit seeds to win three games in the SEC tournaments only happened four times including this year. It's it's going to hold true to the numbers and maybe even then some. Swing and a miss for Josenberger. Slice to the left side past the reach of Haas. Also hits lefties very good almost 360 against left handers this season. Pull to the right side chance for two boast mm -hmm. to Haas and on to first a four six three twin killing. Oh. Mm. Showing you a little bit of everything today. Average up nearly 20 points strikeouts high 60 of them on the year though. Mm -hmm. And there's 61 back to back K's for Tiger. Ball four. He's probably actually very similar in stature to John Manziel. Swing and a miss. That's a second K for Dillard. Pedro Alvarez and Frank Thomas. And there's a four pitch walk to put Lavalette aboard. But he can run. Yes. Like really run. Oh, uh oh. Five straight that haven't found the strike zone for Tiger. And he's hearing it from the 12th man in the stands. And Ryan Targach coming up. 13th time Thompson's been hit by a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a nasty pitch. Error. Third K. Error was a good one. He's good at stealing bases, but he's not, you know. He's no Chris Burke. To third. Cali to Holt. And uh -oh. a little low, but right into the glove of Slavens. And a 5 4 3 double play gets AM. Well, I don't think he wears it when he drives, but yeah, it seemed like it was part of the mm. decor. Third strikeout for Dillard. Back oh, up wow. the middle. And the slow roller means no play. Dillard almost flagged that thing down. Switch hitter, some juice in there. Runner goes, swing and a miss, got away from the catcher. So Coffer's got a long throw. Good adjustment by Moss. Five strikeouts for Matt Dillard in just his second start. Ed Jim on his feet. We're still scoreless in the third. The transfer market every season. Reach for the slider and it goes over the head of Bolton. Hunter Haas, the first hit of the game for Texas A&M. 3-1 to Moss. And he takes ball four. After the meeting on the mound, Warner sends this one to center field, pushing Josenberger all the way back. Right and it is off the <laughs> fence. One run to score. Moss being waved home and now told to stop. And it's a run scoring double by Trevor Werner that just missed going out by a couple of feet. And that's a big pitch for Tiger. And there it is to first. And that will close the inning. When we return, Chris Budden will catch up with Jim Slosnagel. He loves in game interviews. Technical difficulties with Chris, who just kind of figures keep Schloss's good luck rolling. Yeah. He's terribly disappointed, I'm sure. <laughs> what you going to throw next? Let's keep the game going. <laughs> Fastball away right here. And now slider. <laughs> Chris Burke is picking lottery numbers this week ladies and gentlemen and Kyle Peterson is no longer needed. Yeah I mean I think that's where success breeds success right there's. And there's a fair ball past Cali Thompson. Motors to second with a leadoff double here in the fourth. to second. Peyton Holtz got it and Thompson advances to third with Austin Bose coming up. McIntyre lost it in the sun and Slavens is there. Huge lead for Thompson quarter way down the line. A little chopper to first. Slavens has it. No runs after a leadoff double. Welcome back to Hoover. Join with Jim Schlossnagel. We're going to try this again. Last time my mic didn't work. I'm kind of half convinced you took the batteries out of it so that I wouldn't ask anything that would give you some bad luck. Uh, are you superstitious? Uh, I don't believe in superstition. I do believe in routine, however, so don't confuse the two. See, look, I can get out before first pitch. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, great personality. And a base hit to right field. 
into center. Thompson laying out and he kicked it. Cali to second. Yeah, I like I, it interests me. Ooh. Got him, man. So the base is loaded. This uh, A&M staff trying to keep a shutout intact. Octavian Josenberger. Moss in foul territory. Infield fly. Swing and a miss. And Arkansas leaves the bases loaded in the fifth inning. Leaning on that thing. Yeah, there's that cutter again. Smothered by Shelton. Oh. And the freshman makes the play. <laughs> and it's Kyle's favorite place to shop. Good at that. Didn't give didn't give his all for that ball right there. <laughs> Did he play for your middle school football team? Well, he'd have to clean up the effort a little bit. <laughs> you want to see you want to see a happy barber, it's when I roll in. Best customer. This ever. is like stealing money. <laughs> that they're going to be dealing with a team that has a lot of confidence right now. Sadeo struck out four in his two innings of work. Your A plus swing. That was not it. Do it again? Stop. No. And no play. Berkey's actually already perfected the look. It's been a tough luck season. And that one is a fair ball. That'll work for him. Thompson headed to third. They're going to wave him home. Deep in the corner was Wagner. And AM's taking a 2 0 lead on a double from Austin Bost. They then came back Saturday to pitch well, and there's a walk to Minnick. Wood struggled in the game at Vandy when he was used in a non save situation. 3 2. Missed. And it's now a 3 0 AM lead. The payoff. Outside for ball four. Tight gives the wrong impression, but it's tight. Chopped to third. And race one by Cali. And that's an extra base hit coming for Cali. Into the corner for Lavalette, who just moved over from right. And Caleb Cali with a leadoff double. In rolling spot. And he swings at the first and sends it to the gap. Racing around third is Cali. And Arkansas is on the board in the seventh. This is where their comeback started on Wednesday against AM. Into center field. Tucker coming on, and he got it. Stanley Tucker just entered the game in center field for AM, and that move pays off in a big way. The first pitch, or the second pitch at least. Getting into the zone. There it is. And he just drops wait. that one into left. Just waiting for 0-2. Like I, I just I was always so ready after a mound visit. Let's Diggs have another big one in him. Sharply hit to second, but handled. And that'll close the Arkansas seventh. Do you think that pushes South Carolina to the eighth? Opposite field hit for Thompson. He is three for three in this one. I think South Carolina's entire year says they should host. It's a shame, too, because that South Carolina team was loaded. Tucker knocks this one into left field. Thompson headed to third. And Tucker will follow in the second. And now it's up to South Carolina to potentially be the eighth. Infield in, picked up by Bolton, comes home, and they get the easy tag. Four pitch walk. Puts Minnick a one two pitch from Coffer, or two Coffer, I should say. And he goes with the cutter there to strike him out after living in the upper 90s with the strikeout. I mean, it, they are, they maybe would be the favorite right there next to Wake Forest. Roller to first, and Arkansas down in order. 2 1 to Moss. Well struck towards right center. Borfin on the run won't reach it. And Jack Moss is going to have an extra base hit. And now double in the eighth, working on a three run lead. Okay. Inflection. Yeah. Ooh. Muscle to left center. Josenberger trying to get back there, and he does. Wow. Great hustle. 
Tagging from second is Moss. In the relay, not in time. Here's the 1 1 to Lavalette. Line drive for a base hit that'll bring home Moss. 5 1 AM. That's what AM is aiming for here. Wagner takes it in. Tell us about the time you went the wrong way on I-70 in a convertible. <laughs> oh, we got about two hours for that one. No. <laughs> Caleb Kelly with a leadoff single. What was your experience? Uh, that one clipped him and Holt not happy. Vandy boys on the property. We have Florida and Vandy coming up next. Vandy looking for its first win against Florida this year. Big strikeout. That's a base hit. Callie being waved home from third in the corner is Thompson. Another run coming home and Holt. And Arkansas has made this thing interesting in the ninth on an RBI shot from John Bolton. <laughs> Through the left side. Bolton will stop at third. And look who's coming to the plate. He was just signaling for a swing. Little roller on the left side, smothering stop by Werner, and the throw pops out of the glove of Moss. Dig scores another run there in hog heaven here, only a one run deficit now. Aggies led this five to one, and that'll take care of Borfin. Here's the two two with two aboard. Swing and a miss, and AM holds on. Another one run victory for the Aggies. And they'll be playing in the championship game for the second time in their SEC school history.